So my name is Evi Mafini and I'm the head of uh, inspection sales at Onyx. Uh, for those of you who don't know who we are, uh, we are a software company that provides a cloud-based platform where equipment owners, inspectors and suppliers uh, digitally share and create and deliver information about equipment. But today I'm going to talk about digitizing lifting inspections in the oil and gas industry. Uh, first off, I will look at the common challenges uh, there are for the uh, oil and gas companies, mainly concerning lifting equipment regulations, documentation and the time and cost spent on inspections. Um, I will also talk about how digitizing the inspections and equipment handling can increase efficiency and safety. And at the end, I will uh, do a presentation on a case study that we did with the rig company, uh, comparing the time spent on inspections with and without the use of an online app. So, here we go. Um, the common challenges in the oil and gas industry. Well, thousands of lifting accessories and other potential dangerous work equipment items are used every day. There are plenty of rules and regulations in place to ensure safe use of equipment and to prevent work accidents. Lawler and Puver are central regulations in the UK, in addition to the Machinery Directive and the Local Health and Safety Acts. Different parts of these rules apply to different stakeholders in the lifting ecosystem, from the producer to the supplier to the employer and through periodic inspections. Complying with these regulations can be very time consuming and difficult, especially if it's handled in a manual manner. So another barrier to digitizing uh, this is all stakeholders have manual input in their own separate systems, which means that everyone duplicates equipment information and documents about the same items. And each company has multiple systems that do not communicate with each other. This can lead to both double registration and deficient overview. When some of these systems are closed for the end user, so the worker, they don't get access to the right documents and risk doing a task wrong and unknowingly cause an accident. And there's plenty of example where this leads to accidents. So why should you digitize uh, the lifting inspections? Well, first of all, it's to increase efficiency, avoid duplication or missing registration of data. There's too much time spent on registration in several uh, systems. It's also to improve the safety. There are so many regulations to comply with, so a digital tool can make it easier to comply with those. Um, avoid work accidents by having detailed information about equipment readily available for the end user. Information such as when was the last inspection and what was the results of that inspection? Is the equipment safe to use and how should I use it? That's also by providing the user manual digitally. Um, a safe working environment is uh, what we all strive for and maintaining a good reputation as a safe workplace is key to business growth. And uh, a point that a, a lot of us uh, like a lot is saving money. Um, inspections can be time consuming and time is money. Traditionally, an inspector spends too much time documenting the inspection, filling out the checklist with pen and paper, going back to the office to register the results, create the documentation and distribute the documentation to the client. By going digital, a lot of money can be saved on the documenting inspection part. So just an illustration on how collaboration and data sharing can work to your advantage when both the supplier and the equipment owner and the inspection company work on the same platform. First of all, you have the, um, the supplier of the lifting equipment. They supply the equipment to the oil and gas uh, company uh, and with this equipment, traditionally, it follows three documents, the declaration of conformity, the certificate and the user manual. These documents and equipment information is directly sent to the owner's account um, through the system. There we go. 
when it's time uh, for the annual inspection, the third party inspection company is already linked to the oil and gas uh, company and can access the equipment details and the documents. When the inspection is completed, new documents and updates are sent back to the uh, owner's account. And then also the workers have the access and the information they need about the equipment and have the opportunity to maintain the equipment as well. That's just an illustration for you. So going to the case study, uh, we did a case study with COSOL. Uh, and we compared how much time could be saved by working traditionally with pen and paper and by using an offline app to complete the inspections. So uh, the case was we tested this on two similar rigs with the same amount of lifting equipment on board and the same inspection company. But the inspectors were given different tools to um, complete the inspections. And the results were Rig X had three inspectors. They worked on a more traditional work process where they had pen and paper, paper checklists. And after they had completed uh, the checklist, they went back to the office space and completed then uh, the documentation and distributed it uh, through Onyx work there, but not using um, the, the app. Uh, they completed, um, all of the lifting equipment inspections in three weeks. But on rig Y, there were only two inspectors. They were working in a more modern work process and using a dig digital checklist on the Onyx uh, inspection app. They work offline, uh, so it's um, possible to use it on the platforms whether uh, if there is no uh, no network uh, and sent all the information back to Onyx work when they were done. They completed everything in two weeks. So the results are then, or the reward is five man weeks saved. And that's uh, in the offshore world is a lot of money. Uh, so they reduced the time to uh, document the inspection by 55% by doing it in this uh, manner. So. I spoke very fast. I think I, I didn't uh, make my 10 minutes, but um, just a, a little last food for thought. Um, it's no longer the big beating the small, but the fast beating uh, the slow. Uh, so you need to keep up with, uh, with uh, the way the world is moving and uh, consider digitalizing uh, your uh, work processes. So on that note, thank you for listening to me. And uh, if there's any questions, as has been said before, uh, either uh, ask them at the end of, uh, of this slot or um, uh, contact my, me directly. Thank you.